and my two schoolfellows, whom I will trust as I will adders fanged. Well, welcome everybody. We're going to be doing a departure from my normal kinds of videos here, um, hence the new name for the video series in Adder Fanged. It's a reference to my favorite line from my favorite story, Hamlet, mine two friends whom I trust as I would in Adder Fanged. Anyway, figured Viper Adder Fanged. It also kind of reminds me of A Hornet's Nest, uh, his video names, because he's been a huge influential, um, motivating motivating factor for me. He's a great dude and I love his videos, so go give him a watch. But anyway, today's video will be uh, bourbon free and I'm going to do my best to keep it profanity free too. Not because anyone asked me to, but because these videos are likely to be used as instructional videos for the guy who sold me this cockpit. So uh, yeah, no bourbon, just water for me today because uh, I don't mix alcohol and power tools or cars or motorcycles or airplanes, just simulators. So this video is going to be about, uh, we're going to take inventory of all the parts and we're going to, which I've already divided up and gone over, and we're going to go over the tools and the bolts and stuff required, and uh, that's pretty much it, so let's get to it. Also, worth mentioning, while I do have a seat to build as well, I also already have a seat, I just don't have the bottom cushion cut out and sewn yet, just have the foam for it. Um, but uh, this is going to be just about the uh, construction of the cockpit. So. Starting out, box fan, much to recommend that, especially if you're working in your garage on the surface of the sun, otherwise known as Florida, which is where I am. Um, second thing second, I recommend an iPad because it's a pain in the butt, constantly going back to your phone to check instructions and stuff. So having them on a little screen here is a lot more convenient, or you can print them out if you wanna waste ink. Um, probably the most important tool of all, a Bluetooth speaker. You will go crazy if you don't have music to listen to while you work. Also very important, a power drill. Um, I guess you could screw the, all the screws in by hand with a regular, with a regular uh, Phillips head screwdriver if you really wanted to, but that sounds like cruel and unusual punishment to me. Um, big black Sharpie, always handy. You never know you need to mark something. Uh, I have angled bits because I probably will be doing a lot of the building on the floor here. I don't have a really nice construction shelf and this is pretty cluttered. Um, this only holds 200 pounds too, so I'm afraid of breaking it. I got this shelf from Amazon for like 260 bucks. It was pretty cheap. Uh, you're going to need these countersunk drill things. I got two different sets because, I don't know, I'm weird. And uh, that just came with it, which is weird enough. Good quality bits. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the tools. As for the screws you're going to need, you're going to need two packs of these braces you get from Home Depot. Um, there'll be links to all this, as well as these. It's going to be for the front and the rear uh, cockpit tub sections on the very, very back and the front of the two sides of the cockpit. And then as far as screws go, you're going to need number six by one inch, number six by three quarter inch, number eight by one and a half, number six by one and a quarter, number six by two inch, number 10 by three quarter inch pan head. These are all flathead. Uh, you're going to need number six by three eighths inch. I can only find these in flathead, so whatever. You're going to need a ton of these, like six packs of these buggers. Um, they're like, what they are technically is they're for going into the holes for these to have the screws that you can screw your panels into. And then the screws themselves to, where did I put them? Oh, they're right on top here, duh. The, uh, these are the screws you'll need to actually screw your panels into these. And then he has 3D printed some DeZeus fasteners. You can see them down there that will make it look like an actual DeZeus screw. So that's pretty neat. Oh, and I almost, one of the, almost forgot the most important part of all, of all the screws and everything is the glue. Uh, I recommend getting the ultimate because this is straight from TJ's mouth. The glue is actually what holds it together. The screws are just there to make sure that it sets correctly while the glue dries, but this wood is so porous, the glue is actually the strongest thing to it. He said, and I'm quoting him directly here, once it's dry, you can jump up and down on it, and you can even take the screws out, and the glue's gonna hold it there. So make sure you get good quality glue. I hedged my bets and just brought, bought two because I know I'm gonna use a lot of it. Oh, another piece I forgot, clamps. Lots and lots and lots of clamps. I bought two packs off Amazon. You're gonna need a lot of them. So clamps of all shapes and sizes, buy a lot. Oh, and most importantly, eye protection. 
and hearing protection, safety first, always, always, always safety, which again, which is why you don't see me drinking bourbon in these videos. So first thing we're gonna build is the center tub. Now, what the instructions don't tell you here is that this piece and 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 this piece, and this piece, and this piece. You notice I said six pieces and there's three on the screen. These are in two pieces, these are in two pieces, and these are in two pieces. So you can see here, top and the bottom, that's the floor. This guy right here, those two pieces right there, and these two pieces are the two side pieces. Okay, so you see them coming together there. There they are, all assembled. Note the alignment, just like Ikea. Uh-huh. So that is now the top piece where your rudder pedals will go. That piece is right there on the floor. Moving right along, the front and the back. Now, it's easy to get the front and the back and the part that the tub, align, the tub like leans on confused. The way you can tell these pieces apart from that piece, which we'll get to in a second, is that they are the same diameter. Here you have it. That one's obvious because it says F16 in it, but uh, this one is the same diameter as it along the sides, as you can see. So that's how you can tell the front and back. So there's the front and back. Yay, hooray. Okay, so these brackets here are right here. Oh, and those two little guys right there are used for putting these two side pieces together. You can see the screws there for it and there, or the holes for it anyhow. All right, moving along. Now you have a center bracket thingy and then three seat holders. Here's the bracket, here's the three seat holders. Moving along. That is the part that the actual bottom of the ACES 2 seat goes on. That guy is right here. Looking good. All right, now, these two are right there. And now, that's supposed to be cut at an angle, and there it is right there, and mine's not cut at an angle, so I'm gonna have to do that myself. And I am missing the top piece right here. And I've texted TJ about this and he's gonna send me one. So that should be coming in the mail in a couple of days. All right, so next thing to go together are, you're gonna put these supports on all these rib stations. So the supports I have all the way down here. Those are all the supports. Um, I've got them divided up upon like left side and right side. All the right side stuff is over there. All the left side pieces are over there. So the actual like ribs themselves Oop, that was a close one, are labeled, they're labeled uh, one through eight, I believe, that being the front, that being the back, they're in order here. Um, each one's going to get a support on either side. Don't turn off on me. As you can see, then you've got these little guys here that go along the wall, and I have them all down here. They're also labeled, you can see like one to two. And the big Sharpie comes in handy too if you need to like maybe label these yourself or something like that. Then moving along, you can see how those go in. All those parts are accounted for. And that's pretty much it for the wall. That long piece is back there. And then the top one goes along the rails, also back there. This one is cut at an angle, and it's correctly cut at an angle. When it's done, it's not going to be flush. You're going to have to sand it down a little bit. Not a big deal. And then it goes up against the side there. And then the right wall is the opposite, obviously. And that's pretty much it. You're done. Um, and you've got the parts for the actual instruments themselves. And the center pedestal is actually being 3D printed right now, and so I don't have it yet. Uh, and then the actual glare shield. Hmm, I haven't figured out how I'm gonna do that yet, but uh, that pretty much covers it for the parts. And of course, I've got all the parts for another ejection seat, just like this one jammed back there. I'm gonna build that later. In fact, I might even turn that into an A10 style seat, just take a hacksaw to it and cut it up to make it fit correctly for that. Um, but that'll be another video for another time. So thanks for watching and tune in next time, which will probably be right now, I'll start recording it for the construction of the center tub. Thanks for watching, guys.